what qualities most help you get to where you are today? Faith and determination. Practice. Right. Practice makes perfect. Okay, what would you have done differently in your career if you knew then what you know now? If you knew what you knew now. Yeah, I know. Practice more. <laughs> practice more? I practiced a lot. <laughs> you practiced a hell of a lot. <laughs> but you were going to practice more? Oh, my God. Okay. What is your greatest lesson learned? Not to trust everybody. Mm. Not to trust everybody in the industry. There's a lot of sharks. And record companies steal. They cheat. Mm -hmm. You have to audit them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And it's time for artists to take a stand against them mm -hmm. because they totally take advantage of them. Totally. They forget that it's the artists who make the company, not the company who make the artists. Without the talent, the company would be nothing but just hardware. I mean, just, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it takes that real good talent that the, that the public wants to see. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite albums? My favorite album would be um, Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite, uh, Claude Debussy's uh, Greatest Hits, which is, you know, Claire de Lune and Arabesque, mm -hmm. and Afternoon of a Fawn. Mm -hmm. um, I love Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, mm -hmm. James Brown Live at the Apollo. Um, Sound of Music. I love Rodgers and Hammerstein. I love the great show tune writers very much. And I love Holland Dozier Holland from Motown. They were geniuses. There's so many great writers. So many great ones. And any other great albums, like contemporary albums? Uh, great albums. It's hard because albums today, they have one or two good songs and the rest yeah. stink. You know, yeah. Or older stuff. I mean, it could be like oh, Marvin okay. Gaye. Like, okay. yeah, yeah. Or right. Sly. So I have a family sound I like everything they do. <laughs> um, Stevie Wonder is is oh, ingenious. Everyone, uh, uh, talking book. Um, I love the one where he did "Living for the City." I forget the name. Yeah, of it. fantastic. I think that was uh, "Songs in the Key of Life." Yeah, right. fantastic. Uh -huh. And hearing his music made me say to myself. I can do this, and I think I can do this on an international level. Really? Really. And um, then when the Bee Gees came out in the 70s, that did it for me. I, cry, I cried listening to their music. I knew every note, every this instrument. This broken heart. Yeah. How oh. can you mend that one? This broken, broken heart. How can <laughs> you stop the rain <laughs> falling down? I love that. How, How can you stop the sun from shining? Accent. <laughs> when the world, world go round. I love that stuff. When it hit with Saturday Night Fever, man, that did it for me. I said, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I know I can do this. And we hit with Thriller. I just started writing songs like Billie Jean. I wrote Beat It, starting yeah. something. And uh -huh. like, just writing, writing, and it's fun. A any posters in your bedroom as a kid, and of who? Yeah, was, mm, Brooks Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. My sisters would get jealous and tear them off the wall. <laughs> really? <laughs> Brooks Shields? Okay. Yeah. What are the What are the great shows that you've seen? Concerts, or even just shows? James like? Brown, Jackie, what the real entertainers, man. The real was make you get goosebumps. It was James yeah. Brown. Where? Where'd you see him? We used to have to go on stage after him because he would come on, and we would come on amateur hour. Yeah. So we, I'd be in the wings just studying every step. And, every on TV? Week. On a TV show? No, uh, like at the Apollo. Amateur know? hour at the Apollo. Mm -hmm. and, and you saw him perform? Yeah, Jackie Wilson. All and Jackie the Wilson. The uh, uh, Temptations. But the uh, show, that, do you remember one show where you, oh, you saw The Temptations? Too? Yeah. Yeah. It was their show that you saw that you were like, oh my God. James Brown. Jackie Wilson. James Brown, Jackie Wilson oh shows God. at the at the. It made me cry. At the Apollo. Yeah, it made me cry. Wow. I've never seen nothing like that. That kind of emotion, that kind of fever, feeling. It was like 
on another higher spiritual plane they were on. They were like in a trance and they had the audience in the palm of their hand. And I just love how they could control them like that. That kind of power. Mm. When, they, when they sing, they had tears running down their face. Oh. Because well, they just... You get so into it, you know. Wow. Woo! <laughs> now, what are your, some of your favorite songs? Favorite songs of all time? Yeah. Um... I love Burt Bacharach very much. Uh -huh. Any Motown, Beatles like Eleanor Rigby, Yesterday, um, any of the Supremes, and yeah. all that stuff is great. I think the '60s had some of the best melodies of all times. Yeah. Between Peter Paul and Mary, and you know, all those people, I thought they were great. Mamas and the Papas uh -huh. were wonderful. And um, the Drifters go a little further back, but I love it. It's on, on the boardwalk, on Broadway, it's ingenious. Yeah. Uh, simple. The simple ones are the best, I think. Um, I love Alfie. You know that one? It's so beautiful. Wow. Um, there's so many. So many. <laughs> like movies, so many great movies. So listen to a few things that could be helpful to someone breaking into the music business. Believe in yourself. Study the greats and become greater. Mm -hmm. And be a scientist. Dissect. Mm -hmm. Dissect. Yeah. When you said it before, you said something else. Per uh, don't give up. No. What did you say? I don't remember. No matter what, I mean, I don't care if the whole world is, is against you or tease you or say so you're not going to make it. Believe in yourself. yourself. No matter what. No matter what. Some of the greatest men that have made a mark on this world were treated like that. You know, you know, you're not going to do it. You're not going to get anywhere. They laughed at the Wright brothers. They laughed at Thomas Edison. They yeah. laughed at Walt Disney. They made jokes of Henry Ford. They said he was ignorant. He didn't have a college degree because he dropped out of school. Mm -hmm. Disney dropped out of school. They even took Ford to court to prove his intelligence. That's how really? far they went. Yeah. And uh, these are men that shaped and changed our culture, our customs, the way we live, the way we do things. Mm -hmm. And I think God plants little seeds through people on the earth. And uh, I think you're one, I'm one, um, to bring some bliss, some escapism, mm -hmm. some joy, some magic. Because without entertainment, what would the world be like, mm. you know? What would it really be like? Mm. It would be a totally different world for me. I love entertainment. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and my favorite of all is film. Mm. power and magic of movies. Mm. It's the greatest, it's the most expressive of all the art forms. I think it, it touches the soul. M music and movies is the most expressive. It's like, almost like, it's, it's like religion. Mm. You get so involved, so caught up. Mm -hmm. You go in the theater a different person when you come, when out. You come out. Yeah, and they've affected you that way. Yeah. Like, that's powerful, uh. that's powerful. Man. I think, I think that's strong. I like that. I like. I love that. And you got them, you know. And you make we, them feel a certain way. Yeah, you know, especially they me. relate to it. Yeah, yeah. And you, they they live it. They They're live it with it. you. Yeah. They forget their the experience. The experience. The experience of watching a movie affects their life. Their to Their whole. And it can change. Their that's whole what I was saying. Remember about seeing Star Wars when I was seven years old. Yeah. That it's not. It's a different experience for yeah. Paris or Prince singing. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Even though it's the same movie, at the moment when you're a certain age and when you see it and what's going on in the world at that mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. and when, and it's the first time you ever see something like that, and mm -hmm. it's like movies affect you. And just like it's listening yeah. to hearing a song or seeing yeah. or seeing an artist perform. Yeah. Getting yeah. to see James Brown and, get, and that moment of of tears coming out of your eyes is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't tell you how incredible. That's amazing. And and I just love the great entertainers, the great performers, the great showmen. Yeah. 
Like we bought the storytellers and just watching them, you just mesmerize. Oh, you yeah. Know? You get caught up in it. I love it. One spotlight, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. Those guys are cool. And Sammy Davis. And I just love it, the whole thing. It's magic. Yeah. It's real magic. What about uh, James Brown in the hot tub? Hot tub! <laughs> <laughs> That's great.